Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math problem. So this one says a quadratic function models the height and feet of an object above the ground in terms of time and seconds after the object is launched off an elevated surface. The model indicates the object has an initial height 10 feet off the ground and reaches its maximum height 1,034 feet above the ground 8 seconds after being launched. Based on the model, what is the height and feet of the object above the ground 10 seconds after being launched? So a really easy way to solve this problem is just to use Desmos, right? I know it's crazy. Desmos is, you know, Desmos is so easy to use. Um, the only problem here is you have to do a, a little extra thinking, right? It's because they don't give you all the coordinate points that you need. We do know a couple of things. So we know that the initial height is 10 feet above the ground. So when X is zero, we're going to have a value of 10. So that's our first coordinate point. And they also give us the maximum value of eight seconds after being launched. It is 1034 feet. Now the only problem with regression is that to use regression on Desmos, you need to have one extra coordinate point above your degree of the polynomial. So if I had a linear function, I could have two coordinate points and it would work. But since I have a quadratic, I need three coordinate points to make it work. Therefore, to find the last coordinate point, it's actually not that hard because you have to think about a quadratic function, right? If I have a quadratic function, I'm going to draw the other axis, and then the graph is going to look something like this, right? And what we know about quadratic function is that it's symmetrical, right? So if you were to think about this as 0, 10, right, and we think about the axis of symmetry as x equals 8, we know that everything is symmetric, right? So if this is x equals 0, and then this is x equals 8, then this value over here when it returns back to the starting value, that has to be x equals 16, right? Because this is a change of 8, and this is also a change of 8. The side of the axis of symmetry is equal. Therefore, to find our other coordinate points, it's actually pretty simple because we know that this value, when it returns, has to have a y value of 10. And we already said that x is going to be 16. So we have 16, 10. We have our three coordinate points now, and now we just plug this into Desmos, as you can see here, just a table with the points, and we put in our regression, and it gives us our graph, where it gives us the A, B, and C value. But the question is asking, uh, what is the height and feet of the object above the ground 10 seconds after being launched? So since we already have the function that represents the problem, all we have to find is the value um, of the what is this the object okay the value of the object or the height of the object 10 seconds after being launched when x equals 10 right so we just put in x equals 10 here found the intersection we see that when x equals 10 the y value equals 970 therefore our answer is choice c so uh make sure you check out our other sat math prep videos and i'll see you in the next one